First word that comes to mind is fearless. He competed every day. That's the way Wes was. He's very competent. And you could tell, you know, where way he carried himself, that he knew he was going to be a player. Any way, you know, you could get the ball in his hands in the open field, and, and he usually made people miss and, and turned it into uh, electric highlights out there. He's one of the most competitive people you, you'll ever meet, and so that was, it was an amazing experience to be able to play with him for those three years. Wes's high school coach in, in, in Oklahoma was my defensive coordinator when I was a high school coach in Kansas at one time. So he called me and said, Tommy's got the best football player. I've got the best football player I've ever had. And I said, really? He said, he's not very big, he's not very fast, and he's coming from a small school. And I said, we'll send the film on him. You know, he's doing everything. He was playing defense, playing offense, uh, running back, receiver. He could kick. and. Uh, I showed it to uh, Sonny Dykes and I showed it to Art Browns. They were here at the time. And they said, yeah, he's pretty good, but I think he's probably too little. Signing day came and went for Wes with no offers on the table. And on the final day of recruiting, the Red Raiders had just one more spot. They came in and I begged him. I begged him. I had Browns, I had Sonny call him at dinner that night. And finally they took a hard look and it worked out. But yeah, if it weren't for Coach McVay, I don't, I don't think Wes would have ended up in Texas Tech. We were impressed with him when we saw it. Wasn't impressed with his size because he was small. But uh, the rest of history. collapsing, throws it deep to the end zone, touchdown Red Raiders! Wes Welker with the catch from Kingsbury. Wes Welker's name at Texas Tech is legendary. The 5'8 Oklahoma native rewrote the record books and pioneered the path for a new style of receiver in the air raid offense. When I was a senior in high school, he was a senior in college, so um, when I was getting recruited, um, come watch him play and um, you know, it was someone that really opened my eyes and, um, and knew uh, made me realize that I could I could do something on this stage just by watching him. The first day of practice, he's the best player on the field. If I could have kicked and played receiver and played quarterback and running back and DB better than any of us. And so it doesn't take long when you get him on a football field to, to see that he's the best player out there. They'd hand it to him, you know, on some of those speed sweeps around the edge and then uh, throw it to him in space and, and he made a living making people miss and, uh, and, and finding the end zone. Today, he ranks third in program history in receiving yards with more than 3,000. And to this day, West remains the NCAA all-time leader in career punt return yards. His success at Texas Tech translated over into the NFL, where he had an outstanding 12-year career. He's just shy of 10,000 receiving yards and averaged 9.8 yards a punt return. Whether we were up 50 or down 50, he played at the same speed and competed until the whistle blew and the game was over. It didn't matter the score to him, he was going to maximize every rep he had every time he went out on that field. He was someone I looked up to uh, and, and, you know, I, I owe a lot to him. You know, I, don't, I think he gave a ton of small guys, you know, a chance and, and showed people you know, in this offense what they could do. And so, um, you know, without him, I probably wouldn't have got a scholarship here. So really grateful for, for what he did. It goes without saying, it's, he's uh, kind of like my, my son. Wes has been very good to uh, stay in touch with me and it, it means a lot. Texas Tech is proud to induct into the 2016 Hall of Fame, Wes Welker.